What's up, YouTube? Um, this is your boy JB, and uh, I'm driving right now to go to a uh, Wednesday night prayer meeting. Um, I guess just want to make a video. Uh, oh, heck. Oops. Ah, wasn't red. It was yellow, though, but it wasn't red. I promise. I did not sin on this, this video. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know about you, but I just had to make a decision that was a very hard decision. Um, in the 16th chapter of the book of Acts, Paul is going, I'll stop at this yellow light, anyway, Paul is going on a second missionary journey, and his purpose is to preach the gospel and plant churches. Preach the gospel, allow disciples to come into a saving knowledge of, of Christ Jesus to be regenerated by the imputation of Christ's righteousness unto them. Great, great reason to go out. That That is the reason that we do missions as Christians, that is the reason that we witness, that is the, the purpose of our witness, that is the, the um, a main point of our witnessing. And in that 16th chapter um, of the book of Acts, it says that, that as Paul was going, doing this good work, um, that he was going to go into a city called Bithynia, but the Spirit told him no. In my life just now, I have never in my life been in a point where I had the opportunity to go in to a city called Bithynia. And the Spirit told me no. Until recently. And it's been one of those struggles in my life that has been like, okay, I see the great in this. I mean, uh, here's an opportunity to, to, to reach a uh, youth for Christ. To, to, to uh, you know be in ministry that God has called me to be in and uh, but at the same time through people through the Holy Spirit leading other people to tell me basically it's not a good idea it's not a good idea and I can just imagine what Paul felt at that moment Paul was probably like why not uh, I want to go see people saved. I want to go see ministry done. I want to go see God move in a mighty way. Yet God has another plan. And not only that, it's, <laughs> he went again to another city, and the Holy Spirit again said, No, you're not going to go into this city. And that irks me so much. Because everything in me is like, oh, I could be back in ministry. Like, I get so excited. But, and it's not that it's bad. It's not that, that me going to be in that ministry is bad. But one of the questions that uh, somebody asked me said, what would happen six months from now? Would you rather be in a ministry right now and then... Have it. You don't know what's going to happen six months from now. You don't know what your thoughts are going to be. God could be holding you back for something greater. So though God is God, are, are there is an open door for something good. God could be holding me back for something greater. And that's something that in the here and now stinks. The here and now is like, okay, awesome. I would have uh, a youth position. I would, I would be ministering. I'd be doing all this for the glory of God. But if God doesn't want me there, how is he going to get glory? So today I, I had to make a tough decision. And uh, I don't know about you. I don't know what's going on in y'all's lives. But maybe there's a decision that, that you see. And you see the good in it. Um, there are lots of decisions that, that have good outcomes. But maybe for you, God is, God is telling you, listen, that's great and that's good, 
But I have something even greater in store for you. Um, and maybe the Holy Spirit is telling you to not go into the Bithynia or not do this or not take this job or, you know. And what's hard for me is that I don't have a job right now. I don't have a job dating a woman who I believe that I will marry and I can't even provide for her, much less provide for myself. And this would have allowed me to do that. But all in all, I must rely on God. I must rely on His providence. I must rely on His sovereignty on, and, and on His will. And know that the plans that He has are far more greater than any plans that I can have. So, just wanted to make a uh, little video here, let you know um, the struggle that I'm going through. Uh, and uh, maybe to encourage some of you that are also struggling through that. Um, and... At a later point, I, I may reveal what exactly this this uh, city of Bithynia was for me. Uh, I may, may not. I don't know. It really isn't that that big of a deal. But um, I did struggle. But ultimately, God's providence and God's sovereignty and the Holy Spirit uh, through other people and through himself to me and, and through his revelation has told me not to not to take this position and uh, it's hard but when you follow God no one ever said it was going to be easy and uh, anyway I'm just rambling now so uh, I will see y'all later God bless